The rate of incarceration in the United States has increased dramatically, resulting in prisons being filled to capacity with bad conditions and environments for inmates. Within three years, almost 7 out of 10 released offenders will be rearrested and half will be back in prison. One of the main reasons why they find themselves back in prison is because it is difficult for the individual to fit back in with normal life. The Alternative Media Access Center, a unit of Georgia Tech's Enterprise Innovation Institute that provides textbook support services for persons with disabilities, received a grant authorized by the Second Chance Act from the U.S. Department of Justice's Bureau of Justice Assistance. This grant is in support of an innovative prison-based technology training program. The purpose of PROFIT is to produce a model blueprint for use by any correctional facility interested in implementing the comprehensive, competency-based PROFIT Braille training curriculum geared at positioning offenders for long-term sustainable income upon release. The project will modify the existing and proven Braille training curriculums that are utilized by the National Braille Press and the Texas Department of Criminal Justice's Mountain View Braille Unit to better serve the needs of offenders slated for impending release and return to the workforce. The profit offenders that have been assigned to the Mountain View Braille facility, they go to a structured class every day. That's all they do for the five hours that they're assigned here. And uh, I think that when the whole process is over, that they will have a higher quality of work. And I know they'll definitely have a higher skill level on the computers, the graphics, the Braille curriculum, and just the whole package will make them be able to be a better transcriber. The Profit curriculum has five major components. Literary Braille, basic computer skills, transferable computerized graphic skills, including tactile graphics, small business management, and soft life skills. It has been designed to contain 750 hours of hands-on classroom training. The Profit curriculum is instructor-based but also utilizes a great deal of interactive and multimedia components, such as videos and hands-on activities. The Profit program has been a blessing. I always loved helping people, always, and I felt like this was a second chance. This was something that I could do for somebody else and for my family. I think that when we talked about it in the dorm, we really didn't understand the depth of Braille. We thought we were going to come down here, you learn a few dots, and it wasn't like that at all. It was not like that at all. What makes this training unique is an added focus on the generation of computerized graphics, providing high demand, transferable software skills that prepare offenders for gainful employment upon release. Lock the image in the layers palette to prevent it from moving, and you can trace the image on screen with the pen tool. So much prisons are thought of as negative. Uh, inmates are thought to uh, just be in here for punishment. And so when you can develop programs like this, it translates into the communities and uh, folks see these guys as uh, different individuals which help in the re-entry process of uh, many of these guys getting out. Uh, there's opportunities for them to uh, develop and learn uh, and then when they get out they can use those skills. I'm able to come in every day and, and do something meaningful and positive with my time. Uh, I've had very little employment opportunity uh, in my life. I've been incarcerated since I was 15, so this, this provides a, a, a work-like environment for me and I'm learning very many skills. Other than Braille, transcribing, formatting, uh, Nemeth code. Also learning computer skills and working along with others. Communication skills. Definitely multitasking, uh, time management. Uh, people skills, definitely. The Braille program has just given them a reason for being and it gives them a reason to get up every morning because they love doing what they're doing. They love seeing the finished product and they certainly like to know that someone is using what they've done to better themselves. Profit participants will also benefit from specialized small business management and employment skills training and post-release placement support assistance tailored to the needs of transitioning offenders. Some of us, you know, never had the opportunity to, to have a career on the street, not just working uh, a job, say a cook or, you know, working at a McDonald's or something. So my actual career is something that you can build on and grow on. So, you know, and, it's, and it gives you a, a sense of achievement. It lets you 
feel that you're actually doing something that's positive and something that you can build on when you uh, return to the tree. Every day I get forward, I look forward to getting up and coming to work because I know that I'm going to get something out of this, not just for parole, but when I go home. Because I made a lot of promises to my family and to myself when I got here, and this program has helped me make that happen. You know, I, it's much more than I was looking for. I don't know how other programs are of this nature, but this one, you know, the program's participants have an uh, opportunity to, to learn a trade, to make a career, to learn how to cooperate with others, but you know, mainly it's, it's to be able to produce materials uh, for those students and readers out there that need them. Prison Braille programs such as Profit are wonderful because they assist in enabling literacy in the blind and vision impaired communities and they positively impact society by reducing recidivism rates and increasing the life chances of those involved. And when I came here, I thought my life was over. And I thought, this is, this is it. You know, and I never, all these years, it's been 16 years, I would have never thought that God would have taken my life and turned it around like he has. And we've been fortunate to have several uh, here that's gotten out of uh, the prison program here and gone on to be very successful in the local communities. Those are things that when we as administrators of prisons talk about what we can do to uh, help these guys in re-entry, this is one of the best programs in the world of it. Even if they don't go into the Braille program, they're learning a lot of discipline, a lot of computer skills, and a lot of organization skills that uh, translate to any type of job that they might pursue on the outside, so it's excellent. This project was supported by grant number 2010-RVBX005, awarded by the Bureau of Justice Assistance. The Bureau of Justice Assistance is a component of the Office of Justice Programs, which also includes the Bureau of Justice Statistics, the National Institute of Justice, the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention, the SMART Office, and the Office for Victims of Crime. Points of view or opinions in this document are those of the author and do not represent the official position or policies of the United States Department of Justice. For more information, please visit the Profit website at www.profit.gotech.edu.